I got every workout from 1983 until 1997. Every single workout, every rep, every set. Preparation notes for Mr. Olympia and all these things. This worked, this didn't work. So very analytical, writing everything, analyzing, studying. His training diary was his life, and that was him. He knew if he followed X, it would equal Y, and, it, and that's what's been proven. He totally believed what he was doing was right. He had no doubts. That's half the battle. If you believe in something, you, you can make it happen. Blood and guts is just to the level where no one's willing to go. I mean, that's, that's what it's about. Turn the body inside out, no matter what it takes. He wasn't going to stop. He was a train. It was a real regime, almost. Oh, hell no. They're talking about me. All I needed was one ball. The science of training. And I know you don't think it's a sport. Do you think in general, like let's say if, if two bodybuilders are on stage, right, and one is has better physique, can the other guy outpose him and win the show through posing, even though the physique lacks a little bit? I think I think if 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 they're close and the one guy is better, say has better genetic shape, but the other guy can pose better and present better. Yes, I think I've won many shows. You know, people have. You know, during my career, I've be, I've beaten greats. You know, in the sport, like Robbie Robinson and Bob Paris, all these guys are known as having the best physiques. But I was able to present myself and not show my flaws and weaknesses. You know, and I I get you know in history they say, oh, you know, I've been able to get second three years in a row, win the Arnold Classic, win the Pro World. I've won many many shows more than guys who have had better genetic structures than me because I was able to present myself better. So that question in classic, I believe, yes, if a guy can present themselves better, they're, they're able to beat a guy who has better genetic predisposition. Well, that's one of the biggest things about you. Everybody says that you, you were never blessed like genetically as, as well as the other guys. Obviously you have great genetics, but not as to the level, but you are working yeah. with the guys. That, that's one thing always comes up about you. That, well, I, I just watched the video recently about on YouTube, and I, the guy was like, I didn't like his look, I didn't like, you know, his waist, and I didn't like his arms, and but he did win, you know, three second places. He won the Arnold Classic, he won the Pro World, he won, you know, seven, you know, won over nine Grand Prix, and, you know, the guys I've beaten, the list of guys I've beaten, you know, are Lee Labrada, Sean Ray, you know, um, Mike Christian, Bob Paris. Robbie Robinson. I mean, some of the greats that have been known to have like the greatest bodies in history that I've been able to beat. So there had to be something there. And I didn't just beat him one year. It was a, it was a, a seven year span that I've been able to do that. Well, one of the things I had genetically over the other bodybuilders, I was able to get in better condition, you know, conditioning at that time wasn't like it is. Well, today I think the condition is not as good until you saw Rami, but you know, they didn't have striated glutes. They didn't have a lot of, um, you know, you know, striations and veins. And I was able to wow the judges with that type of look that was never seen before me.